I'm Lucas Vieira. I'm a senior lecturer in translation studies here at the university. So I teach and research translation technologies. Um, so I'm interested in how these technologies are changing the world of work in the language industry, and also how they're changing broader aspects of how people communicate and broader um, elements of how different people perceive language and translation itself. Um, so for students who take my unit, what that means is that they'll get to use different translation tools that can streamline translators' work and help them manage different tasks. So recently, I've been involved in a project that looked at how productivity tracking technologies are used in the language industry. So in that particular project, I was interested in some of the benefits that these technologies can have for translators as well as some of the harmful effects and how translators can guard against these effects. Translation technologies, um, they can make the translation process um, more straightforward. Um, so translators can rely on different um, tools and, and different features of translation tools that can help them with terminology that can help them with different suggestions and different ideas about um, the work that they are doing for that particular project or in a particular text. Um, but translation technologies can also change perceptions of how easy the work of the translator is or how difficult it is. And what that means is that this can change uh, what clients think about translation. This can change what the big companies think about translation, and that can influence how translations are commissioned, that can influence how potential customers might, might approach uh, translators themselves and their companies about um, the different needs that they have. So translators need to be aware of some of these perceptions and some of these broader consequences of these technologies. I got into translation um, as a translation revisor. So I used to work for different um, publishers in Brazil. Uh, they would send me manuscripts for the various books. Um, I started with children's literature um, and then I moved to nonfiction. And I would look at the translations that would come from the translator and I would edit um, those manuscripts and send them back to the publisher. So that exposed me to some of the thought processes that translators would have quite early on, because I would see um, almost their first drafts and their first ideas, and I would act uh, as some sort of a, a sounding board and, and um, as the translation editor um, in those projects, I would make different suggestions, I would pick up errors, I would change the text in ways that I thought would improve uh, um, how that translation was achieving the goal that it was supposed to, um, to fulfill. Um, so that got me, got me interested in translation itself as a practice. That also got me interested in the translation process, um, which I was very directly involved in um, at the time. And that's what I research now. So in my research on translation technologies, I'm essentially interested in how these technologies change the way people think about translation and the way that translators translate.